Well, hello and welcome to my second day here in 2023 Hershey RV Show. I just finished filming uh, the uh, beautiful ERV by Winnebago and also I did film a great short video about uh, Winnebago's brand new entry level camper van, the B-Class, only 17 feet long Solace Pocket B. It's an amazing rig. It's super small, yet it's packed with amazing features and it doesn't even feel like uh, it's 17 feet at all. So you have to uh, watch that video as soon as I uh, finish editing it tonight and I'll be uploading among other videos that I did here in the 2023 Hershey RV show. So um, Winnebago has been uh, really good this year at the show. They brought all their uh, Class B vans, Travados, Solis, um, Vistas, Class C that is, and some travel trailers. Let's, uh, let's walk around a little bit and see if we uh, find anything interesting. There's the Vista. It's a Vista 33K. Right. As you come in to a very cozy, homey environment, very spacious, great color scheme, very earthy. This is a, a Ford. I think this is uh, considered Class A, obviously, but it definitely feels like an actual apartment rather than an RV. Beautiful layout, bedroom in the back, a king size bed. TV, a credenza, a dresser, uh, his and her closets with drawers underneath and a full bathroom at the very back. Beautiful cabinetry, so much space, more cabinets underneath. And look at that, it's a really nice, big, actually one of the biggest uh, showers that I've seen on a RV. With a frost glass door, really pretty an AC with all the ducts. Then you have your privacy door here. It's, it's a bifold door. And then you are completely sealed off from the back, I mean the front, and remain private in your bedroom. And it also has a loft bed up above the cockpit. Once again, that was the Vista 33K by Winnebago. Another Vista, 
This one comes with an outside kitchen. Entertainment. Doesn't look like it has any slide out. Oh no, it does. All the right hand side is all slide out. Let's just go in and check it out. Call And there it is, the Solace Pocket B. I think their hottest, uh, smallest rig, entry-level rig this year, 2024. And she's no longer a prototype. It's actually available to purchase. The best thing about this is this dinette area that is so much uh, optional with different layouts from a sectional to a chaise long, a twin bed, double bed, a dinette for two, dinette for four. Look at that. Oops. How cool is that? And it's packed with a full shower bathroom in the back and here's your cassette toilet that goes right on top here and you can remove it easily if you need more space in there or if you are in an area where you don't need a toilet and you need to store some gear that's an option too so check out the uh, solace pocket b layout the video will be on my channel later on today don't miss that out. And here we have the, uh, the Solus 59P with a pop top. Let's walk through this as well. A refrigerator at the entrance, a galley on the side, two burner stove, sink, cabinets, a little sitting area so you can travel with four a lagoon pro master swivel chair chairs and your pop-up at the top so you can sleep two on top at two at the bottom here's your ladder to go up here's your bathroom a bifold door it's pretty big 
There's a cassette toilet in there as well by Threford. A shower. Cool space. It's not too small. And here you have like an area where you can store your gear, some uh, storage area underneath. Um, you have a table here. Let me uh, see if I can pull it off. And the, the leg comes down. Then you have a table where you can work. So you can work one here, one up front where the lagoon table is. Then you lift this up, lock into place. There's another latch here. Release that. And the whole thing comes down. Unfold this. And now you have a queen size, a full size bed, I should say. Very comfortable. Thick cushions, I think they're five inches. Very nice. Closets, storage bins everywhere. And another one right here. Max Air fan. Another cubby right here. Another one up here above the kitchen. Drawer. Another cabinet down below. Two of them. Very nice. Very spacious. And here you have the, the pizza oven for storage. Very... Uh, pleasing to the eye and I'm sure it's very functional right now the MSRP is 112.995 roughly $750 a month and once again that's the Solus 59p guys if you if you want me to go to a certain uh, dealer or uh, manufacturer and if you're interested to see um, one of the rigs, whether it could be an old one, new one, uh, just comment below and I'll, uh, I'll go and visit it and uh, put it on my channel. As you all know, the, the Echo is one of the popular Class B Winnebago rigs. It's right here. It's very really nice. Walk in it. S lots of storage space outside. Look at this one. All the way through. <laughs> Another person could easily lay down here and sleep. You can bring your bikes, kayaks, whatever with you. Two uh, propane tanks. Another storage here. Let's walk inside. A TV, sound bar. On a Ford chassis. Swivel chairs that come with the uh, booster cushions. Excuse Cubbies. Me. Two seats with the seat belt so you can travel four with a little table. Cabinet above. Cute little kitchen. Sink. Two burner stove. Lots of drawers and cabinets underneath. This one's short. Another cabinet right here. A microwave. Another cabinet. Refrigerator, nice with a freezer. The back has your bedroom set up originally as two twins. However, if you wanted to make it into a king size, 
then you could use that cushion and pull this and use that cushion as well and turn this area into a permanent um, king size bed or utilize this as actual sofa, uh, two sofas indeed, and uh, use it as a as a day bed or anything like that. If you're, if in fact, if you're a solo traveler, then one of them could be your permanent bed and the other one could be your sofa, lounger. Very nice, very spacious, two windows on the side and you are seated elevated. It's very, very nice. And here you have in the middle your bathroom. It's a wet shower with the railing going all around, a little window down there, a cabinet, a cute little corner sink, and your Thrufford toilet. Pretty nice. Looks very nice. And the there's another um, lagoon table here. So when you uh, swivel your chair, so you can actually sit there, eat or work. Uh, plenty of uh, surfaces to work from. And uh, this particular 2024 Echo 22A, the show pricing is 159995 uh, monthly payment of 1070 that's at General RV Center. <laughs> what else? Here's another Echo. Let's go and see the Micro Mini, the trailer. Those are really popular as well. Um, I wonder, like I'm kind of going backwards, so sorry. I'm trying my best to get to the front entrance area because they blocked everything here, as you can see. And um, honestly, I was expecting this to be a lot more crowded today, but it surely is not. So we have a 2024 Micro Mini 20. Two, what is this? 2225RL at $32,000. Only $245 a month. Let's go and check this out. As you come in, you are welcomed by this lovely dinette at the back. Great colors. It's actually one long space where you could easily store all your fishing poles or any long items that you carry. Uh, that's actually a very nice long space to utilize. Then you have your really comfortable looking sofa. This is on a slide out, which makes this area very, very uh, spacious. You have this little uh, space where you can put things and you have your uh, wireless connect charger, your TV, your entertainment center, another cubby up here, lovely kitchen, very nice. There's no oven, it's a drawer. Three burner stove. You have a convection microwave on top, so that compensates. Really nice, big, uh, deep sink. More cabinets on top. And then you have the bathroom with a skylight, a little uh, exhaust fan, a medicine cabinet, nice uh, surface area with a sink and a cabinet done underneath. And then the front is the bedroom. It's not the most uh, spacious bedrooms of all. Uh, it's a full-size bed, a little cramped up front, I would say. But hey, you're camping and this is more than enough. And really, like, you just lay there from sleeping to sleeping, right? From night to night. So the entertainment space up front is very, very accommodating. Yep, lots of cabinets up above. I'm sure the bed lifts up 
I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But actually, no. But it has a really nice um, storage space underneath the bed that is accessible from the outside as well. The color scheme makes this rig very modern looking, very homey. The earth tones, very, very nice. And this uh, sofa opens up to become a comfortable bed. So it's very nice. At the entrance, you have hooks. You have your control panel up here and behind this uh, cabinet that comes with more space to store and more at the bottom. The colors, I really dig the colors. Beautiful. Great job, Winnebago. And let me show you that um, storage space that um, is underneath the bed. And it's a hole through space that can be accessed underneath the bed and from both ends. Very nice. And an awning outside. Dual axle. And here we have another uh, micro mini. This one is uh, 20, uh, 2108 TB. Um, this is actually a different layout where features two twin beds up front. So let's take a look at it. Uh, it's uh, pricing at 31999 to $45 a, uh, a month. As the doors, I mean walls, so they're very, very durable. It's not going to sag on you with the years. It's not going to absorb any moisture. When you come in, you have this uh, sweet uh, kitchen area with a nice big sink, three burner stove. Again, the same thing, convection, microwave, cabinets, drawers, cabinets, more drawers, a dinette, or I should say a table that is uh, removable in front of the, this uh, two-person sofa that pulls to become a bed if you need to. Another uh, storage area with the uh, Wi-Fi and a wireless, uh, sorry, wi wireless uh, charger spot. Um, this could be your pantry your entertainment center. Uh, it's a ducted uh, air conditioning system. In the back, you have the bathroom. It's a dry shower with a skylight. It's a step in, step down, I should say. Uh, toilet, which is a porcelain one. That's nice. Then you have this corner wardrobe. and another cabinet underneath. Plenty of place to store everything. Then you have a corner sink here with more space underneath to store all kinds of stuff and a medicine cabinet. Very nice. And here's the bedroom separated for privacy with the curtain if needs be. Just like that and uh, two twin beds which can become with the help of this little flat surface that you would put right here this could become a giant I think California king size bed really nice I actually prefer this layout in comparison to the previous one because that one felt really claustrophobic um, for two people to sleep in. That area was really, really tight. This is open and it gives you options between California King to two twins and lots and lots of cabinets everywhere to store all kinds of gear and whatever you might need. And here's your uh, control panel, panel. Um, your slide in and out, awning, uh, your tanks, your water, electric, gas, everything from one spot. So this is very nice. Also, the colors, just like the other one, makes it very homey, very cozy and welcoming.
All right. Let's go and see hmm, this little tiny, tiny, tiny uh, mini Winnebago. Um, it's a 17 foot, 1720 FB, running at $26,225 a month. The exterior is really pretty, very sporty looking, dual axle with the awning, storage. Let's go inside and take a look. In the back, you have this uh, surface area with cabinets underneath. This would be a great space for your shoes and cabinets up above. This is how it welcomes you. And then this is how it looks. Oops. Yep, the kitchen, the dinette, the TV. Here's your bathroom. Oh, what's going on? Okay, sorry for that, guys. Hit the wrong button. All right, so this is uh, an interesting uh, bathroom. It's a dry bathroom. However, you know, the skylight, the shower, everything. But this is kind of an interesting. You have a sink, the folding sink. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to. Uh, Well, 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 hello, uh, Steve. Well, Winnebago, the show has been amazing. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the show. Underneath the dinette, I have here some um, storage space. Really nice, uh, very nice, comfortable cushion, great colors. The TV right behind this person. Um, more cubbies and cabinets everywhere. I'll just stop that music of you know, I don't want to violate copyright issues. Um, three burner stove, the sink, nice big sink, uh, more cabinets up above. Oh yeah, it's a very open concept, even though it's only a 17 foot, the smallest I think that they have in the market and so much space for everything really like, and it's a queen size bed really nice refrigerator huge and a freezer on top an ac convection microwave looks very very pretty for the size that it is i think it's uh very pretty and very uh comfortable let's see um yeah um they have a class B called room open concept. Yes. Um, let's see what's the weight on this. The dry weight is 3755 and the hitch weight is 426. And the exterior length from the hitch to the back is 20 and a half foot. 1720 FB micro mini travel trailer running at $26,000, roughly $225 per month. It's a steal. Who wouldn't want one? This one, um, Micro Mini FLX 2100BH. It's got a bed up front and a bunk bed system in the back. If you are traveling with kids, this would be your thing. Um, show pricing $45,345 a month and welcomes you in with uh, a bed, a queen size bed at the front. Again, underneath storage, lots of cabinets above. A courtesy, I mean, uh, a privacy uh, curtain that would uh, give you some privacy while you're in there. An elevated slide out where it hosts the dinette for four. Very nice. AC. Very nice kitchen. Open space. Open layout. Lots of cabinet underneath. Drawers. 
convection, microwave, more cabinets on top, Truma heating system all year round, uh, your JBL entertainment, a small TV right above the water. I don't feel comfortable about that, but you name it. Um, again, refrigerator, freezer, very nice size. And for your kids or your friends, a very nice uh, bunk system right here. Reminds me of our bunks at our long haul flights 777 aircraft. Yes, some of you might know I'm a fly tenant and uh, this is the bunks kind of where we sleep on our long haul flights to catch some rest. And the bathroom in the back, a porcelain toilet, skylight, the shower, and again, the same foldable basin. Interesting, but it's there if you need it. A ventilator there, a vent here. Very nice. But I really like the fact that it has this bunk system here. It's not bad at all. And um, if you don't want to, I think that door over there can be utilized as something or a space where you can utilize this space for your longer gear or storage or whatever you might need that for. Very nice. Let me know in the comments. Would you uh, care to get one of those and uh, hit the road? Have you been down this way yet? I, I like it. It's very nice. You're going to see a Voyager. I think probably the, the largest we have here is the way. Well, there's so many. I don't even know uh, which one to cover. There's so many. Um, some of them are just banging music, and I'm not going to go in there and risk my. Uh, channel to be penalized with copyright issues so I apologize what is that a leisure travel van I've never seen that before it's by leisure and what is it called um, wonder leisure wonder and it's already sold nice let's take a look inside it's on a four chassis no slide outs, swivel chairs, kind of remind me of the Tiffin Wayfair where they have this uh, seats right in the front next to the cab, uh, L-shaped uh, kitchen with a nice deep circular basin, two burner stove. Lots of cabinets up front, I mean, up top. Very European style. And uh, if you wanted to, you could drop down this and extend your kitchen counter space even more if nobody's sitting there. And if not, you can lift it up and lock it into place. That's I like. All right, the TV up here. A microwave let's see how this opens a freezer you can say this is a propane and uh, uh, let's see propane battery yeah 12 volt it's a three-way by Dometic nice size refrigerator freezer then you have your pantry or your spice rack or whatever up here then we move to the back which opens up into a living room a sectional very nice this is definitely like the um, Tiffin Wayfarer that I covered yesterday very very similar I just uploaded the video you can go to my channel and watch it um, but it's definitely the same I don't know who copied who lots of storage cabinets on top hanging closet here drawers nice circular 
door, which is your bathroom with a cabinet and another cabinet, I think. Oh, or maybe, oh yeah. Oh, sweet, this is the mirror. And if you don't wanna use the mirror and you wanna use natural light, you could bring it in. Very nice, I like that feature. Some cubbies here and a corner sink. Very nice. I really dig that. And uh, where's the shower? The shower is right across behind this door. Nice. Skylight. Very nice uh, hardware. Looks great. More cubbies here in the corner above the TV. More storage underneath the TV. Uh, privacy shades that go all the way down. More windows. And the good thing is, all right, so I know this from Wayfair. All you have to do is bring down these uh, back cushions and then release the Murphy bed. And that comes down here and you have 